Hi besties, welcome back to my channel and welcome to week five of our 50 day hard. We're literally on day 29. How did we get here? How did time just leap so fast? If you're new here, hi, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a video, but I'm filming every week of my 50 day hard and it's been really rewarding kind of just like looking back on my videos and seeing how much different my mind was like literally just last week or the week before. And that is exactly why I wanted to document this process so that I can just look back and see where I was in that specific time, like mentally and physically, and also to hopefully inspire you to get on your wellness journey, get in your wellness era, and we can do it together. But I'm honestly feeling so good and so consistent. I feel like some of my rules are getting a bit easier, like eating intuitively. I just don't really crave bad food anymore and i love that my body is just naturally waking up a lot earlier than before and it's like second nature to get my workout in like i'm not dreading it i just know how amazing i feel afterwards so it just feels automatic to do it like it just sets me up for such a great day of course i run into those like low energy days where i cannot fathom doing a hard workout but i've really just like listened to my body and on days where i'm just not feeling it i'll do an at-home workout something a little bit more relaxed and not like around people if I don't want to be perceived, you know what I mean? I'm feeling so good and so consistent. And if you guys are doing this challenge as well, make sure to comment down below and let me know how you're doing. I would love to check in with you and just chat in the comments. But anyways, it is already 2.21. I need to go to Trader Joe's, get some groceries for the week. I need to stop by Target so I can get more Nespresso pods and creamer. And I need to run an errand at my bank, so. <laughs> and drinking my coffee this morning it was so hard for me to get out of bed i was this close this close to canceling my workout but then i realized that the cancellation fee was like 22 bucks so i was like obviously i'm not gonna do that but i'm so thankful that i pushed through and just kind of shut off my brain for a sec and just came to my senses like girl you're not paying 20 something bucks to cancel a workout that you signed up for so we made it to our 6 a.m cardio hit class and tell me why it was one of the best workouts i've ever had like performance wise i was not gassed at all and it sucks that i can't really like film in there besides me on the treadmill where like nobody can really see so it's a mix between cardio and also like circuit training so each circuit has three different exercises that you do and you do three rounds of each and then in between those circuits you hop on the treadmill and you do sprints so it is high intensity compared to what i usually do at pilates or hot yoga but long story short it's easy to talk yourself out of things but i'm trying to do things that my future self will thank me for and i'm proud of myself in that aspect of just like showing up for her <music> for the day i'm actually headed out pretty soon to go film some content for simon malls it's like a super bowl campaign but the super bowl is literally on sunday so it's like a very tight turnaround it's an outdoor outlet mall so i want it to be cozy and not freezing it's my favorite bodysuit ever this is from skims my black baggy jeans from revolve i have my sambas my coat is from aritzia it's the slouch coat and then i'm wearing my new bag that you guys saw me unbox yesterday this is from portland leather they were so kind enough to send it in pr and it's so beautiful and it falls perfectly on my shoulders i love it they just knew what my style was so yeah let's go film some content
the evening-ish. My boyfriend and I are gonna go to a boxing match at the Mandalay Bay Hotel. So this is what I'm wearing. This is your sign to invest in just staple, solid pieces because you guys literally see me wearing these jeans all the freaking time. It's because I can just dress them up and down. However, this top is such a staple also. I just feel like it's timeless, it's cute, it's a little bit different. And I can wear it with so many different outfits. I just love how it kind of shows part of your like decolletage. I'm wearing my little Dior vintage heels. And if you couldn't tell by now, my favorite color is black. My Rotia slash coat is making an appearance again tonight. Like literally, this is why I like to invest in just higher quality and just better pieces in general. I wear this coat all the time. And it just goes with everything. These are the earrings for tonight. These kind of remind me of the Heaven Mayhem ones, except these ones are from Amazon. To kind of match the chocolate brown and gold hardware, I'm gonna wear my Louis Vuitton mini purse. So yeah, this is the outfit, nothing crazy. But I thought I'd show you just an outfit that isn't workout clothes, even though I'm kind of out for repeating from yesterday with the coat and the jeans, but like, Clothes are meant to be worn, and my 2024 in is out for repeating. Like, clothes are meant to be worn, babe. It's not that serious, and you don't need a new outfit for every single occasion. So, I'm telling that to myself. I'm not scolding you, I'm scolding myself. Like, I need that reminder. Like, not every outfit needs to be groundbreaking. You can just invest in stable pieces and rewear them. So, that's exactly what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> for the day i'm trying to be better about just be more presentable throughout the day but i crushed my to-do list today i had a few invoices to send out for some brands that i did some collaborations with and i'm gonna film two tiktoks for revolve i do a monthly partnership with them and i love sharing the clothes that i get so i kind of wanted to do a little try on haul while simultaneously filming on my phone this is my little setup so i have a little like i think it's called the octo buddy but it essentially sticks to any mirror or any like window. And so this is how I film my TikToks now because I use my big tripod to hold my camera now. I'm gonna do my two TikTok videos while also showing you the clothes I got. And this dress is so slay. This part keeps like, like I feel like I can't move my arms at all. There's like a built-in like lining skirt and then there's a built-in kind of like bra. This is so cute. The only issue is I can't really move my arms. And there's this little mini skirt. It's super cute and flattering. Like who doesn't love a classic mini skirt? I love the hardware, but I should have sized down because it's pretty loose, but I kind of like the loose look maybe. I feel like if I size down, it's literally gonna show my cheeks, but we're just gonna stick with this size. Like it's not the end of the world, it's still cute. I think I'd wear it with this shirt. Then I got this insane biker jacket. Oh my gosh, the colors on this are everything. I was kind of thinking of wearing it together, but I feel like this might be too much. Like, too much biker energy. Run some jeans instead. I think mean, it's so cute. I just love how different it is. And like, I'm really into biker jackets lately. And it fits perfectly. This is adorable. It's a little two-piece shrug set it's so dainty with the little bow and the lace trim are you kidding me and then this is the last item i got it's just a simple white long sleeve it's so soft i think i should have sized down i wanted it more fitting it's a little bit loose but nonetheless the quality is so good it's just so cozy and soft i don't have a staple white long sleeve so this is perfect i think i'm gonna order more colors but get it in a size smaller so i'm obsessed with all the pieces <laughs> Thank you. 
besties. I just got home from basically being out all morning. I did a 45 minute hot girl recovery walk because my muscles are a little fatigued from how hard I went with my workouts this week. I just needed a recovery walk to kind of give my muscles a break and I feel so much better. It was also just so great like getting out of the house as soon as I woke up and getting fresh air. But after that, I went to Trader Joe's because I needed to pick up stuff to make a charcuterie board for the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl Sunday, which I don't really care about. I really just care about Usher performing. I am manifesting that he brings out Justin Bieber. Like, do you know how iconic that would be? I would simply just pass away. My boyfriend and I are going to my parents' house to watch the Super Bowl. I wanted to bring a snacking platter that was also not horrible for you because Super Bowl food just isn't the best. It's good. Don't get me wrong, I love junk food when we're like watching a sporting event, but obviously I can't be doing that. So I decided I'd make a fun little charcuterie board, crackers, salami, cheese, some fruits. And as I was leaving Trader Joe's, there was a Girl Scout stand. And so of course I had to stop and get some cookies. Obviously I'm saving this for when my challenge is done. If you guys didn't know, I was a Girl Scout for literally 10 years. My mom was our troop leader, so Troop 983. And so every time I see a Girl Scout stand, like I always want to support them because I remember those days where I harassed people to buy my cookies so I can go on trips and they're just so good. These three are the best flavors. Argue with the wall. We have some Tagalongs, Thin Mints, Obvi, and Samoas. Samoas are my favorite flavor ever. This is truly my holy trinity. Like I will be pounding these once I'm done with this challenge. Anyways, she's gonna be in the pantry for now. But now I'm just drinking my coffee and I'm gonna use the rest of the morning to kind of just tidy up the house and get the house ready for the new week. The house is actually a mess. I just don't wanna go into the next week of our challenge feeling overwhelmed by the house and just cluttered. So I'm gonna spend like the next hour or so just getting the house in order. This is the current state of our bedroom. This needs to be fixed right now. As much as I didn't want to show you guys like the actual state of our house, I just want to be so transparent and real because I get comments sometimes where it's like, oh, I wish I was like as put together and like, I know it means well and I'm flattered that I portray that type of vibe about myself that I have my life in order. However, I just simply can't always show the best sides of me on the internet. I do have days and like clearly this week where I just did not care about the state of my house. And there are times where things in life are just not aesthetic and that's totally normal. Like that is just being a human being. We go through ebbs and flows of life and it's okay to not be aesthetic all the time. So I just wanted to share that because that is the current state of my house. I am just about to head out to my parents' house for the Super Bowl little watch party. But I wanted to end the vlog here and also just reflect on how I felt about this week. I feel like I really focused on the quality of my workouts this week. Like I just really gave all of my effort. And physically, I have noticed some differences. I feel like I have more definition in my stomach area and also my arms. And it just makes me really excited to see the results at the end of this challenge. I just feel like I'm really hitting my stride in my disciplined era. And everything just feels like routine at this point and that's exactly what I wanted out of this challenge. So it feels good to kind of reap the rewards of just putting my head down and staying disciplined on this challenge. But with that being said, I'm so excited to enter week six and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Thank you.